A decimal number has two parts which are separated by a dot or decimal. A whole number part and a decimal part. For example, in the decimal number 23.65, 23 is the whole number part and 65 is the decimal part. Absence of any part is shown by 0. So, point 0.96 can be shown as 0 0.96 and a whole number 12 can be written as 12.0. A decimal number is actually a decimal expansion or representation of a fraction or a rational number. A decimal number is the quotient that we get after dividing a numerator with the denominator. A decimal number can be terminating or non-terminating recurring decimal number. Let's take a few examples to understand them. A fraction 9 by 2. Let's divide 9 by 2. Doing so, we get the answer 4.5 and the remainder is 0. So basically what we are trying to show here is that the quotient does not go forever. It ends at the digit 5 when we get a 0 remainder. In the decimal numbers where the decimal part does not repeat or go forever but terminates, such decimal numbers are called terminating decimal numbers. Let's take another example. 1 by 4. Dividing 1 by 4 gives us 0.25. The quotient stops and doesn't move forward after the remainder becomes 0. Hence, 0 0.25 is also a terminating decimal number. Now, let us understand what a non-terminating or recurring decimal number is. We will solve the fraction 1 by 3. So, you can see that the remainder will never be 0. Hence, the digit 3 in the quotient keeps on repeating infinitely. Such decimal numbers that keep on repeating to an infinite extent are called the recurring or non-terminating decimal numbers. And we use a bar to represent the repeating digit. In this case, the digit 3 repeats itself. So, we will express it like this. We put a bar on the repeating digit 3. The repeating digit is written only once with a bar on it. Let's take another example 5 by 6. Here we saw that the remainder never becomes 0. The quotient comes out to be 0 0.833 and so on. The digit 3 is repeating while the first digit 8 does not repeat. So we place the bar on the digit 3 while the digit 8 remains as it is. This kind of a decimal numbers where some digits are non-repeating and some are repeating are called the mixed recurring decimal numbers. The example that we did prior to this one is called the pure recurring decimal numbers. In the pure recurring decimal numbers, all the digits in the decimal part are repeating. Let's take an example to clarify it. 13 by 11. The digit 1 and 8 are repeating. So we place a bar on digit 1 and 8. Since all the digits in the decimal part are repeating, we call it a pure recurring decimal number. So let us recap what we have learned till now. There are two kind of decimal numbers. The first one is called terminating. The terminating decimal numbers are those in which the decimal part do not repeat forever but stops after certain decimal places. 
The second kind of decimal number is called non-terminating or recurring decimal number. The non-terminating or recurring decimal numbers are those in which the digit part repeats infinitely. The non-terminating recurring decimal numbers are further divided into two categories. The pure recurring decimal numbers and mixed recurring decimal numbers. The pure recurring decimal numbers are those in which all the digits repeat infinitely. The mixed recurring decimal numbers are those in which some digits of the decimal part do not repeat and rest of the digits repeat infinitely. Also remember that we draw a bar above the repeating digits.